Oh my gosh. <gasps> It was August 2020 when Nick and I looked at what felt like the thousandth house that we had looked at. We fell in love with the gated community. Almost everyone has horses. We were loving what we were seeing so far. We knew the inside of the house needed a little bit of work. But when we saw the view and the pool and the backyard and the rest of the property, we absolutely fell in love. And we looked at each other and we were like, this is it. So we signed all the contracts, purchased the home, and we were really excited to start this adventure together. Before we did any of the remodeling, of course, we taught Piper how to swim, and by we, I mean Nick did. <laughs> this is right when we got Piper as a puppy, and she gets in the pool all by herself now, which is a little bit of a problem, but you know. The inside of the home uh, came with a nice manual from the previous owners with everything we needed to know, which was awesome. The, you'll see all of these parts in this, uh, these couple clips is what we're actually remodeling. It's kind of the entryway, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and we are just totally upgrading this. It's literally like a time capsule from 1986. They really hadn't updated anything. This is all their previous, the previous owner's furniture in here and whatnot, and we took out a wall. We, we've done so much already, so I'm excited to share it with you guys, and we're so excited to see this project finished. So this video will be in a few different parts, but let's go ahead and get started. So we're thinking we're going to take all of this out and kind of rearrange this a little bit. We're going to take this down and this down, and then this little island we're going to turn into a much bigger island. This is crazy. Look how old this is. Like that, This is how well they took care of stuff. Like This is literally from 1986. Like That's amazing. We got a little closet here and over here. Oh yeah, the pantry, I forgot about this. Where is the light for this? Let's learn the house together. So, as you can see, we have already ripped out this wall and I have some pictures of what it used to look like. Um, there was like a little desk here, a cabinet here. This was all like, you couldn't see through it, except for a bit right here. And this had all these cabinets here. You could see through just right here. So like, this was so much darker in here. And when we first moved in, we ripped this down. There was a, a thing hanging down cupboards and then a counter. And then right where this cement square is, there was a tiny little island. So we are completely transforming this. We're going to fill this window in and put a bar here with shelves. And I want to do like a round portal type window. This is gonna be one big sliding area. We're turning that into the dining room. We're gonna redo this fireplace. This, the walls of the sunroom are gonna be completely ripped out. We're gonna make that a California room eventually. If you see, like, we're gonna rip all this out um, so that all of this drop down is like the same as that ceiling over there. I'm gonna redo the front door at some point. I wanna put some really cool tiles down here. This room is a step down. We're actually going to fill this completely in. We're gonna redo this fireplace. I'd like to make this a bit bigger and do it a see-through so you can see it in the other room. Close this wall off. Um, our pantry looks like a dungeon slash jail cell. Um, <laughs> we're gonna put a big window in there to the outside so we can get some light in here. And we're gonna completely just redo this so that we have a countertop all the way around. I'd like to put my coffee maker on there and whatnot. Now maybe that there will be a door to the kitchen and not the hallway here, even though it's so close, I don't see why it matters, but it's one of Nick's things. Uh, maybe I can put my appliances in here now. Blast of the cabinets. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you gotta watch your Good helmet. job, guys. I, I kind of almost need one, huh? <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. All right. Bye, old oven. I fucking hate you. So, Rebecca is helping us design the kitchen, everything that you see behind us, and we just got a new TV. Yeah. And then look how big this is going to be on here. <laughs> So awesome. We're not messing around. Oh, Jojo wanted to join us. This is your new domain. Hey, Jojo. Yeah, we gotta get this. <laughs> so awesome. Here we are. Well, so first cool. Of all, we collected a few of our inspo pits. Oh, pretty. I love it. But I know there's a lot more. Just a few to. No, that's good. Yeah. And I looked up all these pictures and having like a fireplace and like it's somewhat offset TV is actually really modern. Rid of that and making this 
walkway bigger. Um, we talked about that like at the end of when you were here, I think. And I was yeah. like, I could lose that because we could this room could be big yeah. enough. I mean, we're going to close this off so we could actually make this wider. And I think we were saying in case we wanted to move everything a little bit to put a door over here into the pantry. Day two. Um, I think this is all. Yeah, I'm going to have to go around the other side. Uh, it looks like a Dexter scene in here. It was so funny because Jojo was like <laughs> behind that uh, plastic stuff. Excuse me, guys. Um, behind the plastic stuff and like she was like staring at me through it and it straight up looked like Dexter. It was pretty funny. Um, let's see. The team is at the dump right now, dumping everything. And I've been kind of cooped up in the back room here working in meetings all day. Um, wow, look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> This is going to look so amazing with the ceiling opened up. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. So we tried to keep as much of this as possible to save. And I can just already tell just how much higher this is going to look and appear with just all of this open. I'm so freaking excited to get this like all opened up and like this is so crazy you can just see right into the pantry <laughs> and then this actually this wall this is going to be gone this wall is being moved all the way over here and then we're moving this pantry out a bit so you won't be able to see the door as a straight shot which isn't my favorite but instead we're going to put a door here to the pantry so that you don't have to walk into it from the side because that was really important to nick i could literally care less about that but he cared so we're making it happen um this is crazy. This is, is there any point even running an AC right now? I honestly don't know. Mm. This is, sorry, I'm playing June's Journey. I have to put coffee out for my team. Um, today is day three of having no kitchen and a very messy area leaving footprints everywhere where the kitchen was. Um, <clears throat> it's really hard. Um, I wasn't able to turn the gas on in the motorhome last night. I turned, I flipped a couple of the switches and I think I needed to turn the gas out on, the, like on the outside. We've never camped in this motorhome. So everything on this particular motorhome is a little bit new. And I was like trying to make dinner last night at like nine o'clock at night because I just was starving all day because everything in here is just so inconvenient right now. And um, I could not get it to turn on. I took the eggs all the way out there and I was like getting so frustrated. Um, it's just hard because like our kitchen's in the garage and in order to get from the well, kitchen, our fridge and stuff is in the garage. So in order to get from the garage to where we're washing the dishes all the way back here in the laundry room, you have to go through completely disgusting floors, a tarp hanging, push it open, walk through, go to the laundry room where there's really no counter space at all. So yeah, I just texted Nick. I was like, I think two days, three days max living in here and making food in here and feeding the dogs and stuff. Cause I've been doing it myself the past three days. He's been at work. Um, you're going to say that this needs to be done like stat, like by the end of September, like latest. So yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a bit. Um, it's just that everything that we need to use is a completely opposite ends of the house and you have to go through like really, it just makes everything take like 10 times as long and like makes everything like 10 times as complicated. If you've done a remodel and you had a similar setup, you know, definitely been challenging, but we'll get through it. Um, I think the washing the dishes and stuff has been like the most difficult part because like, even when you just get like feta on your hands because you're putting on a salad like you're out in the garage and you're like okay there's no sink like it's crazy how much like we take for granted like little things like that and every time I'm camping it reminds me oh wow it's so amazing that we have like running water in our houses and stuff good morning there has been about four days of demo I have a lot to do this morning but I'll show you what it looks like I also have no hot water I don't think I've had hot water now for about two days I tried to use it for the first time last night to wash my, or no, yesterday to take a shower and there was no hot water and I was like, 
Um, Nick's been at work for four days um, with only a day off in between. It's been a little rough, but this is really taking shape. Look at this. So this still needs to be removed and we're gonna level out this room, but the drop ceiling is completely gone. This wall over here has been taken down. We are actually moving, shifting this wall back this way. But after this opening got put here and I've walked by this a few times, I'm thinking we make this doorway a size where we can have a large barn door and just keep it open because I'm going to turn this into a closet. I mean, a closet uh, office put a bigger window here so it'll be really nice to let a lot of light into this hallway um and i just like it open so i think that that's what we're gonna do this is what the pantry is looking like same same honestly like i'm excited but all i'm seeing right now is dollar signs <laughs> so uh that's just how every model goes um i got my lips done so that's why they're a little bruised but it is nick's birthday he's at work right now he'll be off soon so Put this above the bed. This is so cute. I got it at Target actually, it looks really cute. I'm like, I'm gonna save this for when we're doing a nursery <clears throat> because that is just so freaking cute. Um, the rest of the house is like under construction basically, the kitchen and stuff. So I don't know what we're gonna do today, but at least the bedroom is, you know, it's okay, it's livable. <laughs> um, yesterday, the floors were gonna be taken out, but it was a bit harder than we thought it was. So the guy doing our construction came over with this one tool and it was not working at all. So um, I think it needs to be done by hand, which is crazy because not the whole house, but like a lot of the house has the wood. So anyways, I also just realized it was one of my really good friend's birthdays yesterday and I totally forgot to text him and I feel like a horrible friend now. Ah, yesterday was so crazy. Hopefully I can make it up to him. But anyways, Nick's gonna be here soon, so I'm gonna take a shower so I smell nice for when he gets here, and I'm excited to see him. He's been at work for three freaking days straight. Um, I just wanted to be known that the difference between the ramp sill and the flush sill is this track that the lock rod goes into, right? right. However, when it comes down to weather resistance, exposure, Today, Nick and I are going to look at some tile to kill some time. We actually started working with a design company or studio in La Jolla. We have an appointment there in a little bit here and it's cool because they're doing like they might be able to do our cabinets too. So we're going to this tile place because we need to figure out what we're doing with our sunroom area because I just put the deposit down on our bifold door and we need to figure out what tile we're doing in that sunroom area once we like knock out all those walls and everything. It's just kind of a weird room. Like I feel like it's just gonna look like a weird dance floor that we paid to have set up for like a party. So we have to um, pick some good tiles. So we're heading into um, this tile and stone place called Bedrosians in San Diego to kind of see what they've got. We still have not been able to order any appliances whatsoever because there's just a long wait on like all of them so I've been keeping an eye but let's head in and see what we find this could be kind of cool for the sunroom we both like this one it's got a little bit of grip Ooh, I like the black tile so this is kind of what our islands are gonna look like and see that's like a good example of like a bar area and this too this is actually a really good example of the bar area ours is gonna be a little bit bigger than this right but I like the floating shelves and this sink looks nice. What do you think? Yeah. Since I last talked to you guys, whew, it's a little close. <laughs> Since the last talk to you guys, we went to the design place in La Jolla and they started, um, I need to get a handle for this so I don't have to hold this all the way out. They um, basically started the design process and they have an initial design ready. Last time I saw it a couple days ago, the pantry wasn't included. So they're gonna include that. They're gonna symmetrize the windows, if that's even a word. <laughs> At least I get to go to work and use a dishwasher and I know you, a new guy to wash my dishes. And you literally come back for a day and he's like, oh, 
we got to get moving on. This. this is crazy. And I'm like, I have been here for five days straight. Yeah, it's trying to... on me, though, because I have perspective of, like, what the good life is like, you know. So, really, <laughs> I'm the one that's really suffering. What the hell ever. Size does matter. Size does. What Size always matters. Literally. For everything. Everything. Like, name one thing size doesn't matter with. Wieners, it's the motion of the ocean. No, you gotta have size, girth, and you gotta have the motion of the ocean. The ocean. The ocean. <laughs> you, gotta, you have to have all of it. Hot as balls right now in La Jolla. Okay, so we just finished there. Very exciting. How are you feeling about seeing all that? <laughs> it's so awesome. We um, took a couple cabinet samples. Uh, this is from the company that I think we're gonna buy the cabinets from. And I really liked this. Actually, Nick picked it out. Um, it's kind of like almost like a hexagonal piece. So we brought. You could literally knock someone out with this. This is heavy. Hexagonal. <laughs> We can, uh, we're gonna take it to see, like, to match this to, like, you know, this faucet, um, the bar faucet, etc. Um, <laughs> so, Smoke in the reefer. Give that to me. So, I just got this back from the design company, which is pretty cool. Um, this is obviously not exactly the tiles and stuff that we're going with, but I did want to see what it would look like if I did kind of a mustard tile behind the bar area, and then this would be like white subway, and then this. So I think it actually looks really good. This helps me visualize it a lot better. So this is pretty exciting. I am loving seeing this come together. How good do I look today? Uh, <laughs> I have like, I get like, <clears throat> shit in my throat when I have spicy salsa. Okay. So I feel like, why is this like so zoomed into my face? Um, yesterday was the design place, which we showed you guys. And now this is what we're dealing with. Um, I'm going to close off this video here. Sorry for the noise. Um, and I will make more parts to this as we go. Obviously this is going to take a very not a very long time, but there's a lot to do here still. So because we're at a little bit of a standstill until our cabinets come, I'm going to close this video off here. Uh, I will create a playlist for this house remodel because there's going to be many parts to this. There's a lot of different things in this house that we want to do. We want to put a custom fire pit in the backyard made out of cement. We want to redo the pool. We want to redo our sunroom. We need to redo the master bedroom. So slowly but surely we'll do all of these things. So I will create a home remodel playlist and um, don't forget to thumbs this video up if you like the home remodel content. And <clears throat> hopefully very soon there will be a part two of this out and I can show you guys what we've done since today, basically. So we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.